Last year, the company spent nearly $200,000 repairing damage done to customer corrals. Damage to the corral gate can occur when gates are not properly secured during service. Gates can come loose and become damaged. It can also happen when a driver tries to open the gate with the front load forks. Damaging a corral not only costs the company money, it also affects our relationship and image with the customer. It's important to follow the proper steps when emptying a container from a corral to not only prevent damage to the gates, but to keep everyone safe. Follow these five easy steps to properly open and secure a corral gate. Step one, slowly pull up to the corral. Step two, get out of the truck and carefully open the corral gates. Step three, secure the gates with the supplied bungee cords to prevent them from swinging open during emptying. Step four, cautiously empty the container. Once finished, slowly back out of the corral. Step five, unsecure the bungee cords from the gate. Slowly close and latch the corral gates. There are many different types of corral gates you can encounter when on a route. Many times, a bungee cord will not work to properly secure these types of gates. In this case, you will need to use cones to secure the corral gates and prevent them from swinging open. Once the gate is secure, proceed to empty the load. After you are finished, remove the cones and close and latch the gate. We understand that sometimes accidents can happen and a gate can become loose and cause damage to the corral. In the event that this happens, you must immediately report the incident to dispatch. Next, you must completely fill out an incident report and give it to dispatch. Remember, damage to a corral costs the company money and affects our relationship with our customers. Remember these five easy steps to properly open and secure a corral gate.